Cairo is one of the most culturally diverse and civilized cities, and it is one of the oldest cities in the ancient world. Its shape was formed over the ages until it became one of the most densely populated cities in the world. Greater Cairo. It is the natural urban extension of the city of Cairo, in the three governorates Cairo, Giza, and Kalubia. Shubray el Khaimah, Giza, and Helwan join the city of Cairo. It is not surprising at all to mention that the pyramids are present in the city of Cairo. What is meant here is Greater Cairo. With the passage of time and the increase in population, Cairo included more cities and suburbs around Greater Cairo. In 1980, the city of the 10th of Ramadan and the 6th of October was established in order to relieve the residents of Greater Cairo, and that these cities include new industrial cities relatively far from Cairo. After the success of the idea, Obor City and Badr City were established in 1982. Then in 1995, Sheikh Zayed City was established, and a 2000 New Cairo. The area of Greater Cairo increased with its urban extension, and did not stop expanding. Many new cities and urban communities are being built around Cairo to reduce overcrowding in Old Cairo, and work on redistributing the population of the region, and exploiting the desert around the old capital. The new administrative capital is the Egyptian state's decision to move its rule from Old Cairo to a new place that accommodates more population growth and can be planned and its infrastructure works in a way that secures it in the future. The decision to establish it was in 2015, and so far, 90% of its first phase has been completed, and within a year or two, it will be officially transferred to it. After the terrible urban expansion in Greater Cairo and its new capital, a new airport was built in the new capital, and another airport was added west of Cairo, bringing the total of Greater Cairo airports to three. In the last eight years, the road network around Greater Cairo has been developed in a manner that had not been done before in the previous 40 years. The old regional roads were developed, and new ones were made that did not exist, for the ease and speed of movement to and from Cairo. In the last eight years, the old ring road around Cairo has been expanded and developed because of its great importance, and the middle ring road and the regional ring road have been constructed to increase the ease of movement to and from Greater Cairo. In the same period, the internal roads of Greater Cairo were developed and new axes were established to make it easier for people to move in all directions, especially to and from the new administrative capital. Egypt's ranking in road quality was 128th in 2014, then it jumped to 28th in the latest statistics of the Global Competitiveness Report in 2019. Nearly $20 billion has been spent on developing the road network in the last eight years. Development in Greater Cairo was not limited to roads only, so the government tended to develop mass transportation. The old train network that serves Greater Cairo does not take into account the existence of new urban communities around it. Even the metro network, which was established in 1987 and completed in 2002, could not accommodate the terrible congestion and the very rapid expansion of Greater Cairo. In the past 10 years, Work has been done on the construction of a third line for the metro network, most of which have now been completed, and work is underway on the fourth line. After two years at most, you will be able to ride the subway from New Cairo to the pyramids or the Grand Egyptian Museum. The Egyptian state was not satisfied with that, as the light electric train was established, which is an extension of the metro network, and the first and second phases of it were opened at the beginning of 2022. Now, you can take the metro from any station and reach the new administrative capital after switching to the train at Adli Mansur station and linking the city of the 10th of Ramadan with the heart of Cairo. All this was not enough for future expansions, so a new network of monorail trains was established, linking the new capital once again to the heart of Cairo, with another track on the light rail. Also. A western branch of the monorail was established to connect the 6th of October city with Cairo. The monorail is scheduled to open within a year. After that, 
Linking all the new cities and their extensions becomes easy and accessible to the heart of Cairo and vice versa, or even to other regions in Egypt. The construction of the high-speed train network has been started, as the completion of the first line between Ain Sokna and El Alamein, passing through the new capital in Cairo, will be completed within two years. And of course, all new mass transit networks will converge together for ease of movement from outside to inside or vice versa, so that Greater Cairo becomes one integral part, whether by roads or mass transit networks. In the past 10 years, the boom in progress in roads and means of transportation was unparalleled. Those of you who did not visit Cairo 10 years ago can come now and find a completely different city than the one in their memory. Old and new train stations have been developed. Paying attention to important squares, tourist places, and museums, and establishing the Museum of Civilizations, which opened in 2021, and the Grand Egyptian Museum, which is expected to open in 2023. Attention has also been paid to slums and dangerous areas, as they may be removed, and civilized societies can be built in their place to house the same population without any compensation. In short, Old Cairo is being beautified and transformed into its splendor, with interest in urban expansion around it, especially the new administrative capital which needs a separate topic to talk about, but I will let the pictures speak for themselves. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit like. If you want to watch more videos about mega projects and tourist attractions in Egypt, please subscribe to the channel and do not forget to write to us your comment about the video or any topics that you would like us to review in the upcoming videos.